What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. It is, uh, it's warm out. Little evening session here. I haven't fished for uh, a couple weeks. So, meeting Randall, he's already out there, uh, getting some casts in, but got some scum. I hope we can get on a frog. I've also got some of those lures from Mr. Bass, the, uh, the bellows gill that I want to try. So, enough yapping. Sunlight's going down. Let's try to catch some fish. There's one on the chattering bait, running straight in here to me. Well, it took me a minute. Nothing out here wanted the frog of any sort. One on the chatter bait, huh? Oh, decent fish. Better fish than I thought. There we go, all right. First one of the night for me, chatter bait. That's what I caught one on the other night, just out testing this combo. Here we go, long fish, skinny though. Pound and a half or pound and three quarter probably. Cool, thanks for eating, dude. Well, can we find any more on the chatterbait? Maybe that's where they're at out here in this grass. This is kind of a flat that drops off. Maybe, maybe this is the deal. Maybe they just don't want top water. Hiding in the grass, being uh, being stingy. That's right, I would take a good chatterbait bite. I haven't been on a good chatterbait bite in a minute. Now, one fish is not a pattern. One fish could most certainly just be a fluke. So it happened the other night I was out cast testing this and uh, caught one. Walked around, couldn't catch anything else, but it was cool to catch a little dude on this. I just had a bite right here on the edge of this. That whole front. Are you into like the Avengers and Marvel type stuff or no? Yeah, I watched all of Loki. I watched uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I'm on... on an absolute bruiser just missed a pretty good one right as my camera died there of course the curse of the camera then he shook off when i was going to try to put a battery in and uh, then i catch this guy back to our regular dink tastic episode maybe a third of a pound quarter of a pound little guy geese are geese are running up on us to do who knows what they're shady i don't trust them devils in disguise so uh yeah it's been super slow i haven't had a single bite on the frog everything for me has been on there's one. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow he hit it like he was way bigger look at that dude's not even that big two pounder he hit it like he was a monster oh, maybe a little bit bigger two and a half Two and a half pounder, I'd say. Nice. Okay. On the old chatter and bait. I'm following suit. By golly. Different color. We'll see if uh, that Do it. We can, uh, we can swim in a pack. That's another look at it right there. That uh, cross-eyes chatter bait, the weedless version. Nice little two and a half pounder. There's a chunky little guy. Thank you, dude. All right. Well, and no time at all. Slow yeah, just slow rolling the old chatter and bug. I like this thing so far i have not lost it obviously since i still have it uh but yeah that's got two little wire weed guards there and uh so far that's doing the trick because i lose these more than any other lure i would put more than well i don't fish jigs as much as you i lose these like you lose jigs my god stuck on somebody's bobber Hey, bobbers and manners. On next weekend's giveaway. On next weekend's live. This bobber and manners. Bobber and manners. First, you take a bobber and put a manner on it. If they don't bite the manner, try the crawler. If that don't work, go home. They ain't eating. See, Rana. All right, now. Come on. Move along. Go do your goose, goose stuff out there. Come on, now. Go do goosey things out there. Be scaring all the fish away. Just leave. There's one. First cast. Oh, 
All right, what's well, the old vibrating jig that's doing the work tonight? First cast, new point. By golly, we done found one. All right, there we go. Another little, I don't know, pound and a half or something. Thanks, guy. Appreciate you biting. However, could be more hiding around here. Suppose you never know. Oh, yeah, I guess so. What? I caught a couple on a vibrating jig, so what? I don't know. I was going to, but you're already there, so it was probably you would have been here catching them. All right, there we go. That guy's like a pounder. But he's on the weedless chatterbait that I still haven't lost. That that says a lot for me. So I do notice you have to make sure you keep track of these, uh, these wars after that wars. They, uh, they bent on that fish that I just caught there before, and I forgot to fix them. Luckily, I didn't come over anything. They're somewhat stiff, so they keep keep it from getting hung up and snagged and all up in the wood and whatnot. What? Okay. I'm going to catch this last fish that's right here off this uh, piece of wood, or this rock. That woody, woody rock-covered uh, sheshing. All right, well, boom, 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 caught a few right off the bat. And nothing. Had one little bite over here, missed it. Must have been a little fella. All right, fish and friends, that was the end of the catching. Uh, Randall and I stayed out past dark trying to find some uh, some some moonlight fish, but it uh, didn't happen. Still a great time. I like to go over the gear and talk about kind of what I was doing, how we were catching the fish. So for me, uh, it was all about this guy, this Z-Man cross eyes weedless chatterbait. And what makes this so nice is that you can see it's got two wires and they're pretty stiff. It's not like they're really soft, uh, you know, like fiber guard. They're actually like pretty stiff wires. I didn't lose that at all that night. I actually don't have that one with me. Uh, you'll find out in another video why, but uh, it was this in, I think, Pond Bug or something like that. I'll link it down below. Uh, for those of you who had a few few people ask and wondering, yes, I am partnered with Tackle Warehouse. Uh, after years and years of using their stuff, uh, they finally reached out to me and said, hey, you know, would you like to partner up? So I said, absolutely. So uh, when you see me list the gear down in the, uh, the description below, if you follow those links, use my links uh, and purchase anything, I get a portion of that back. It goes to supporting me and my channel. Um, I'm going to put it into more unboxings, more giveaways, uh, try to do better gear, uh, you know, kind of everything to improve the channel. So thank you all. There's no discount or anything. So if you don't want to shop there, shop somewhere else. I know there's a million places. I'm not going to bug you and hound you and try to sell you on it. But just so you know, if you want to support me, use the links below. But anyway, uh, the cross eyes chatterbait. So good, consistent chatterbait. You can see that it does does hit the head uh, I know that's one big thing like with the jackhammer it does bang across the head there it's got the weedless ability uh, it's got the dual uh, soft plastic keeper there you can see the lead mold and then the wire awesome little chatterbait uh, I need to order some more of those because I only had one of that color but as for the combo um, you all have seen me talk about this a few times this is that Kistler combo that I picked up a little while ago uh, the KLX rod and then I will show you the specifications right there that's uh, the specifications of the combo so a medium heavy rated up to three quarters ounce I've, I've said that before up to three quarters or about an ounce to me is like the best do-it-all rod handled the chatterbait really well it's a little bit softer than like a regular fast which I love perfect I love a tip that's just a little bit more bendy but you know not an actual like bend over to the middle of the right you know like a crankbait rod but just a little bit of tip um, the reel again Kistler reel that's the series 2 Kistler reel I've liked that a lot I'll be doing a um, separate review on the reel uh, and the rod two separate reviews on both of those because I'm really happy with them uh, and the line 17 I want to say 17 pound uh, P line fluorocarbon on there the blue box really like that stuff I like the tactical too it's a little bit pricey but it is so soft cast so well but anyway um, that's the combo and then the trailer this is something I don't think I really tell people about it's one of my uh, my my trailer secrets but I was using the reaction innovation beaver that's the 4.25 inch right yeah or 4.2 inch sweet beaver and the war mouth color uh, reaction innovations uh, they are so far behind it stinks because they make so many cool plastics just kind of hard to find right now um, but this one has like chartreuse june bug and green pumpkin kind of all mixed throughout just kind of swirled so each one's a little bit different 
Uh, but such a cool color. I love that color. I had that on the back of that chatterbait uh, toward the end of the night. I think it ended up ripping off. I got a bite on the rocks. I didn't catch the fish, but uh, that was the combo. So it worked well for me. The deal with catching those fish was staying on the outside of those grass edges or just above grass clumps. So where we were fishing, you could see I tried throwing the frog for quite a while. Didn't get any bites. Randall caught, I think, a uh, couple uh, frogfish that night, a couple small fish. Uh, I didn't catch any. I didn't even have a bite on the frog, which stunk. But didn't lose it all night coming through wood and rocks and everything. Uh, really liked that weedless ability of it. Um, but staying on the outsides of those grass edges and around clumps, you know, now we're starting to get into late summer. Uh, we're going to have that grass dying off. Kind of a different story, but if you're fishing places now that still have grass, stay on the edges of that and don't be afraid to, to fish up over it. I was even bringing this, where'd it go? Bringing this over that grass in spots where it was a little bit higher, I'd kind of get stuck in it and pop it out and just keep fishing it. Just think because you have a little bit of grass on there, oh, they're not going to eat it. I've had fish plenty of times. You get a little bit of grass. I know some people are kind of like OCD about that and they just reel it in and waste the cast. Finish the cast out. Try to pop your rod real quick. Um, that's why I like a rod that's just a little bit soft but not super spongy because if you try to pop it through grass and it's real, real spongy, it's hard to do that. So pop the rod quick and keep going. Finish that cast because you never know when you're going to get them to bite. Like I was just talking to Randy in that one spot and then boom, I had another one hit. So that is it for me tonight. I didn't have a specific person picked out for the uh, for the subscribe fishing friend. I tried to do that at the end. You know, is, is that still fun? Is that still cool? I, I don't know. I did that as a way to, to name specific people who are I always see in my comments commenting supporting me comment below let me know what you guys think is it cool that I do that is there something else I could be doing do you like the gear review and kind of the tips at the end of the videos comment below and let me know I love hearing from all of you what you like what I can do better um, I want to try to step up my game a little bit in you know video stuff and kind of some b-rolling not the real cinematic stuff, but adding some different angles and things in here just to make it a little bit more fun. So that's enough for me. I need to edit. Love y'all. Appreciate you watching. Thanks. And uh, until next time.